I am Anil Kumar. In this particular video, I will show you how to find exact value of trigonometric ratios. We are going to use special triangles and also a strategy to first find equivalent trigonometric ratio in terms of related acute angle and then find the exact value. Right? So there are two steps. One, we have to find uh, equivalent related acute angle. Right? Um, and we need to also find quadrant in which terminal arm is. Right? So these two things we'll find. And to find the exact value, we are going to use special triangles. Okay. So the question here is, what is the exact value of the following? Cos 13 pi by 4, sine minus 8 pi by 3, and cot 7 pi by 6. To find the related acute angle, we will see where the terminal arm terminates for this particular trigonometric ratio cos 13 pi by 4. When we say 13 pi by 4, it means what? This particular quadrant, we have <coughs> in this coordinate system, 13 pi by 4 is, if you start from 0, divide into 4 parts, then this is 4 pi by 4. Right? that becomes pi then this becomes 8 pi by 4 so that means when you make one full circle you come to 8 pi by 4 you have to go 4 more to make 12 and 13 is one more than that so that is the location of 13 pi by 4 so 13 pi by 4 is in quadrant 3 that is the quadrant 3 now, if you apply the rule, all are positive in quadrant 1, sine in quadrant 2, tan in quadrant 3, and cosine in quadrant 4. We are looking for cos 13 pi by 4. It has to be negative, correct? Because you are in quadrant 3. Now, what is the acute angle? Well, the acute angle here can be seen as pi by 4, right? 1 pi by 4 more. So acute angle is the angle which is made with the horizontal axis which is pi by 4 and therefore equivalent expression is cos pi by 4. Right? Negative value of cos pi by 4 that becomes equivalent trigonometric ratio. Perfect. Now to find the exact value we can make the triangle which has pi by 4 in it now that is the triangle in which the sides are, so that is pi by 4, right? So sides are 1, 1 square root 2. So you could write this value as equal to minus 1 over square root 2. Now that is one answer. However, most of the time we do not prefer to write with square root 2 in the denominator. So what we are going to do here is that we are going to rationalize it. So instead of 1 over square root 2, we'll multiply and divide by square root 2, both numerator and denominator, and that gives us negative square root 2 over 2 as our answer. So that is going to be the final answer. So I hope that is absolutely clear, right? You will also make us equivalent triangle where the sides are, multiply each by square root 2. So we, the other sides are square root 2, square root 2 and 2. So now you can write cos as square root 2 over 2 directly. Perfect. So that is how you could do it. Now let's look into the second example. Sine 8 pi by 3. Sine 8 pi by 3. Means that we are going to divide this particular pi in three portions, right? So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
7 and 8. So there you go. So that becomes 8 pi by 3. Do you see that? So that is how you get 8 pi by 3. So basically what you're doing here is that you're dividing this into three equal parts, correct? So the counting goes like this. 1 pi by 3, 2 pi by 3, 3 pi by 3, let me write here, 3 pi by 3, 4, 5, 6 pi by 3. 7 and 8 pi by 3. I'm sorry. We should have gone negative. It is negative. I'm sorry. Minus 8. Sorry. So that was going positive. Since it is minus, we have to go like this. So we go in this way. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we'll add up here. So that is minus 8 pi by 3. Right. So it's good I saw this. Right. This is minus. So you are in quadrant 3. In quadrant 3, sine is negative, right? And the related acute angle here is what? The related acute angle <clears throat> is the angle which it makes with the horizontal, which is 1 pi by 3 left. Is it okay? So you could write this as negative sine pi by 3. Correct. So the answer is negative, sine pi by 3. So you can use the special triangle which has pi by 3, pi by 6. I'm drawing it in center since we'll use it for the next example also, right? So in this triangle, that is the angle pi by 3. This is pi by 6. And the sides are 1, 2, square root 3. For sine, pi by 3, the opposite side is square root 3. So what we get here is equal to negative. This is negative. Sine pi by 3 means opposite over hypotenuse. Square root 3 over 2. Correct? So that becomes your answer. Is that clear? So the answer for the second one is negative square root 3 over 2. For the first one, it was negative square root 2 over 2. Now let's look into the last question here, which is cotangent 7 pi by 6. So our strategy is simple. We'll first divide the quadrants so that we could measure 7 pi by 6. It is positive. This is 6 pi by 6, right? This is 6 pi by 6. One more, we get 7 pi by 6. 7 pi by 6, correct. That angle, the related acute angle is pi by 6 for us. Since you are in quadrant 3, here tan is positive. Cotangent is 1 over tan. So it has to be positive, correct. So what you get here, as this is equal to cot of pi by 6, correct. Cot of pi by 6. Now, from here, cot is Adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Remember Sokotoa? Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. Cos is adjacent over hypotenuse. Tan is opposite over adjacent. Cot is adjacent over, let me write, cot theta will be adjacent over hypotenuse, right? Adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this, when we look from pi by 6, adjacent side is square root 3, correct? So what we get here is cot of pi by 6 as equals to square root 3 over 1 or just square root 3. You are in quadrant 3, so it is positive. Perfect. So that becomes your answer for the third one. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Let me summarize it. First step should be to figure out in which quadrant you are. The quadrant decides the sign, whether it is negative or positive, and then find the related acute angle to get an equivalent trigonometric ratio. Once you have found the equivalent trigonometric ratio, use special triangles to get the exact value. Okay, so for the first one, it is minus square root 2 over 2. 
for the second one it is minus square root 3 over 2 and for the third one it is square root 3 I hope that helps feel free to share my videos write comments and if you like and subscribe that'd be great thanks for watching and all the best